This is the Last Dope Podcast. I'm DJ J. Steezy. And your Tia's favorite DJ, DJ Jedi. And we are back, man. Happy New Year. Happy 2023, man. Hey, what's up? We got a special guest in the building, too. One of our DJ homies. Yeah. DJ Dice. Yeah. What's going on, guys? Not much, man. I feel like we should have had that. Like, just, I don't know. Sorry. Yeah, we need to add it to the to the soundboard, bro. Yeah. This yeah. this was just pretty much thrown in last minute. Uh today actually we put yeah. it out there. Yeah. Hey, well, which one of our homies is just like out there like wants to come on the pod and right. Shoot the shit. Yeah, and I was like I told him I was like, damn, we ain't getting no responses, man. Then I was like, Oh shit, Danny's like, hey, he's gonna be a brother. I was like, All right, cool. <laughs> I was actually meeting with a client for Saturday. Right oh, now. dope. Okay. Yeah, man. So um so let our people know, you know, that, you know, what you do. Of course, you're a DJ. We all know that. But um, um, what kind of DJ are you? Open format, you know. Open format, whatever the crowd wants to hear. Just read the crowd and just go with that. Now, do you prefer, like, club gigs, bar gigs, quinceañeras, wedding? Or is there one particular that you like that over, over another one, maybe? Well, we all know that private gigs pay more, so... Yeah, go where the money's at. Yeah. Smart guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't mind doing bars. Uh, whatever. If I'm available, I'll do it. But cool, cool. Yeah, man. Open to whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, same here, man. I think, I think I'll take a private gig over, you know, a club or a bar, man. Because you know, like I said, you got to go where the money's at. Yep. And definitely cool. for the viewers, uh, I think I knew you first, right? Uh, before you guys met. But I'm yeah. trying to think, how the fuck did we meet? How, how, how did that happen? I don't know. I don't remember. I feel like I've just known you. <laughs> I, can't rem- I don't remember. But I used to work with Steezy's dad for many years. Yeah. Oh, shit. So you knew. He pro- maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I met him and, you know. He's like, I know him. of this guy. <laughs> 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 oh, that's very interesting. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm still trying to think. Like, some, some of the DJs, I, I, I can't go that far back, I guess, and be like, oh, yeah, I, I met him over no, I, don't, I just feel like I've known this guy forever, and you literally have. Yeah. <laughs> so um, one thing I notice about you, man, is um, you're still rocking tables, bro. Yeah. You know. Um, have you thought of transitioning to? I've the, actually have thought about it because those tables do get heavy. Fucking heavy, huh? Yeah. Especially when you're working at Salon in El Centro and you have to carry them upstairs. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah! Shout out to you. He told me, "Hey man, uh, it's worth it. Pay a hundred bucks, and uh, you can use their equipment." Cool. The guy called me. He's like, "Oh no, it's two hundred. And I was like, "Oh nah." Oh, <laughs> I was like, "Nah." He told me a hundred. <laughs> Maybe that was a homie hookup. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but man. but yeah, some of these events, like um, I think there's like two, right? You you had the other one. Yeah. With the stairs, oh man, we we're uh, fighting to see who had more stairs. Yeah, bro, the same fucking day. <laughs> I actually did um the new uh in Hopeville the uh, Casablanca building. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, man, and uh, it was actually it was one of their first events that I did. Actually, I think I was like one of their first DJs. Oh wow! You know, Congratulations, that, yeah. you popped their. <laughs> 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 but um, just kidding. But yeah, d- doing that gig, man. You know, this was after like before they had that soft opening. Yeah, you know and um. Yeah, man, just pause. When I was like <laughs> talking to the client, she's like, "Okay, we want you upstairs. We we don't want you to be seen." And I was like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "What do you mean you don't want me to be seen?" You know, emotion or like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it's just like our thing is reading the crowd, bro. You know, it's just and it was kind of hard to read the crowd from upstairs, looking down. You know, looking looking over the table. It's just like. Could have gotten yeah. yeah, man. Like, much in shorts. Yeah, yeah you I know. Shorts. But um, it was the 80th birthday party. And she, you know, the lady did tell me, she goes, you have to come dress nice. I was like, okay. Um, no jeans. And I'm like. Nobody's going to see me. I was like, all right. You know, like, yeah, it was, um, it was like a three panel interview, bro. <laughs> I, the mom, the daughter, and the son. Hey, did you guys have walkie-talkies to communicate with the people downstairs? <laughs> no, man, that's why we have phones. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, oh, I don't know if you had reception way up there <laughs> in Mars. <laughs> but yeah, man. So, advice doing that gig, you know, it, there is a shitload of stairs. Yeah, but um, what's well on the same topic? 
has it ever bothered you? Like, or have has that ever happened to where they're like, they don't want you to be seen, or they cover you with something? It's never happened. Which one? Well, I've always been out, like in the either in the on front? the stage or, uh-huh. or in the, some corner, but I can always but be but seen. is that something that would bother you? I don't think so. If they told you they don't want you to be seen. <laughs> or I, well, I mean, I, I guess that we, I, I take it as like, we're trying to promote ourselves for the next gig yeah. all the time. So it's like, we kind of want to be seen. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, I mean, there's, there's like the old school DJs, like shout out to Flint. I remember him like stuff being in front of him. He didn't care. He was getting paid. Right. Well, I guess it depends. Like, I guess the newer DJs are divas like me. <laughs> Pretty I remember, much. I remember he used to do my junior high. Yeah. Dances. He's the OG dude. Wait to CDs in front of his face. Uh, <laughs> I think I think if you're doing a club gig and you're upstairs, I think that's cool. Yeah. You know, because you know, it's um That was like back back then, huh? That's yeah. when they used to do it. Yeah, you know, it's just like, you know, me, you know, living in LA for so long, going to clubs out there and you know, and you know, DJs were upstairs. Yeah. But it's different, you know, when you're doing a private event because the private event you gotta feel that crowd, yeah. you know. And you gotta see what's going on, you know. If the crowd starts to die down, it's just like, all right, you know, I need to switch it. And I'm over here looking over the, you know, over the over the rails, <laughs> you know. But um, but have you ever don't had any, do it? <laughs> have you had ever had any nightmare gigs? Ooh. <laughs> actually, you know what? This past weekend, nah. actually, my Mac. No. It started scrolling down by itself. Oh, oh my brujeria, God. Wait. <laughs> That's what that B4 is on your head, wait. No, no, no. And don't take out a huevo because they're too expensive. <laughs> they are expensive, bro. <laughs> yeah. um, but luckily, it magically stopped and it went back to normal. You think, like, maybe from someone from Beyond the Grey was had a request and they're like, hey, <laughs> throw this shit on. It's going to kill. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, you know what? Let me just scroll through your shit right quick and see what you have. Well, yeah, I was like, I was like worrying about like what am I gonna do? Two more. But, luck- but luckily it just stopped after about five minutes. It stopped. <laughs> Crazy, damn. Crazy. So I got a couple of questions. Uh, how long you been DJing? We'll, we'll get those out of the way. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, I started off back in the days with my dad. My dad used to DJ back in the days. Actually. Oh no shit! Wow. Yeah. Um. He used to do the CDs, all that stuff, uh-huh. and um, I would go along with him with the gigs. I'd be like ten years old, and I started off with him. DJing all over the valley with him. That's dope. He went by the name of uh, DC Jams. And then so when I got older and um, going to the clubs, seeing the old school, well, yeah. the pioneers from the valley, uh, Freddie the Rebel, Dynamic, those guys, yeah. rocking the turntables. I was like, okay, I need to get back into the game. And tax season came and bought myself a pair of turntables. <laughs> and that was that. Now, how much were they back then? Back then, I paid six hundred for the for the pair. God, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> now you can't even get one for six hundred. No. I, I found know. them on a uh, Craigslist, uh-huh. yeah, up in up in some shop in Long Beach. So damn, I was up there. lucky. Man. Yeah, and um, my first gig was I guess was it Cashmere? Oh uh, shit! With a uh, RM. Totally. Okay, so damn. That was that, and it all started there. That's dope. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. Cause um, actually, I just seen, I seen a memory, bro, where you're DJing. I think it was Cashmere. Yeah, it was like from 2012. Yeah, back then. Yeah, dude, it was just like it was like I was looking. You know, how memories pop up on Facebook. I was like, está roquito. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, shit. I was like, fuck, dude, we're getting too old for this shit, man. No, never, <laughs> never. You know, it was just like it. We're at that age, bro, where it's hitting us, man. Yeah, it is. Uh, especially in my back. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it was my shoes, like my feet. Like, I can walk all day, fucking 12 hours, 14 hours. But standing in one place trying to DJ, like, it was, like, nah. It was killing me. Have you ever worn cowboy boots DJing? No, no. not even for Catacall. I have. Fuck. <laughs> Damn, is bro. Is that, like, like Brand new Red Wings or worse? No, nah, they were cowboy boots from uh, the boot barn, actually. Oh, wow. And did a quinceanera at uh, a soccer upstairs and went dressed up and wore boots. <laughs> wow. My back was killing me. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You got questions or you want me to go? Go ahead and go, man. Okay. Well, since I know we're limited on time, this guy is really busy. Like, seriously. Like, I'm lucky he's 
even here right now. <laughs> um, do you like or dislike when the trust have covers? Because me personally, I don't. But I see like everywhere else, LA, New York, all these influencer DJs, they put the, I'm like, dude, it's a structure. It structures look nice, but I don't know. To me, it, it makes no sense to cover them and then put a light. That shines through, so you could still kind of see them. So it's like, what the hell? But anyways, do you think it looks more elegant, or or what's your opinion on on the trust covers and shit like that? Um, I think that's more like for like a fancy wedding. I want to uh-huh. say I personally don't have them. Uh huh. But I well, don't me mind. neither. But like, I don't have, I don't mind them at all. You don't mind them, but like with the with the covers, I don't mind fine? it. Okay. That's just something extra. I guess you have to put on more yeah. work. Me, um, I have them, but. It's only upon request, man, because yeah, it's just it's it is it is more work, you know. It definitely is, and then you know, do all the uplighting. And, Actually, yeah. I just bought my first fast skate, and I don't even have a light for that yet. <laughs> you know, what? I've had one, but uh, I don't have one, a light for that either. And every time I I'm, I look, I'm scrolling and I'm trying to order one, but then I'm like, I'm gonna wait. Yeah. <laughs> and it's been like years, <laughs> years yeah. now. We've talked about this in the past, bro. Uh-huh. Um, has there been any gigs where nobody dances? Oh yeah, for me yeah. Yes, yeah. Um, a couple of weeks ago it was uh, 60th birthday and no one danced. It seemed more just like a dinner party. Oh wow, but it was easy money. Yeah. Does does it um does it kind of bother you though? In a way, in a sense, yes. Right. Because I was trying my hardest to get them to go out to dance, playing all the. Hey, cumbias, or older people like. Yeah. And they still weren't, still were not going out. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I think, you know, sometimes it's just like, okay, they're here just to chill. And yeah. I think, I think it's for like, for me, it's happened to me twice, you know, and I think it's like, okay, I got to get it through my head that they're really not here to dance then, you know, because I, I remember I was telling him on, it was a Christmas party that I did uh, a few years back. Um, I played everything, everything, and nobody was dancing. But I saw people bobbing their heads and, you know, from the tables and stuff. I was just like, and I'm like, what the fuck, you know? Yeah. But it's just, and I think we just got to come to the conclusion, hey, you know what? It's not us. They're just here to chill. Yeah. You know, so. but I still get mine. I don't care. Yeah. I'll, I'll call them out. Um, <laughs> one time, honestly, I was going through that, and I said, fuck it. Uh I mean, it was a small crowd, right? And it was a house party, so they really like just wanted to chill. But to me, like it got to me, so I told them on the microphone. I I killed the music like just random, and everyone just looked at me like, "Huh?" And I'm like, "Oh, sorry, the the cops are here. The neighbors called the cops, and um, they said um, they're gonna have to shut the music if you guys don't start dancing." <laughs> and everyone started laughing, food, and everyone came out and started dancing. It was corny, right? But it fucking worked. It worked. It worked, bro. That's cool. But but in a way, like it, w- it was killing me. I was like, I'm playing, like you said, I'm playing all the jams. And yeah. But yeah, I, I I stooped that low, and I'll probably do it again. <laughs> <laughs> now, real quick, um, shortest gig and farthest gig. Shortest gig. Mm, I want to say it was during this actually this past summer. Okay. It was a uh, one of those car meets, import car meets. Oh, okay. Right there in Holtville. And it was probably maybe about two hours long. Okay. It was too hot outside anyways. So. Uh, was it summertime or what? Summertime. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I charge more just because it's fucking hot and I don't want to lose this figure. <laughs> <laughs> so I charge more, guys, just so you know. And have, like, treats and candy. <laughs> <laughs> treats and candy? <laughs> All that shit for me, you know. And what What is it? A writer that they ask for? Oh. Right. <laughs> and longest gig? Uh, maybe about five hours. Nothing five hours? past that. Ooh, is that in like in your your contract or no, it just happens it, that way? It, um, they asked me if I can go that extra hour, and I gave them my price, and they paid it up. And fortunately, everyone was drunk, and oh, cool! So it was yeah, just more, mainly drinking music they wanted that last hour. So easy money. What's the weirdest request you've ever gotten? Oh wow! Damn. Um, low job, Betty. Too short. <laughs> And it, was, it, was a birthday, yeah. it was a birthday party for it was actually the girl's birthday party, and she wanted that song. So. <laughs> <laughs> song, but, yeah. Yeah. 
There's some of those songs, right, that you yeah. just listen to, but not really at a party. When they come up to me and it's like, hey, play, it ain't no fun. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, I'm looking around, and I was just like, shit. It's like, all the, all the, all the tios and tias, todo viejito, and I was just like. And you know what's funny is that a lot of the times when you end up do playing it, they're out there dancing too. Yeah, dude, it's normalized yeah. for some reason. <laughs> just, you know, but it's just like, and then they catch themselves singing it, and I'm, in my head, I'm like, do y'all realize what the fuck you guys are singing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, know. they know. You know, but it's just, uh, yeah, sometimes sometimes I, I kind of like, ugh, you know. Well, there were cochinos back in the day, fool. It's fine. Right? <laughs> um, you got more? Go ahead, man. Influences. Um, see my well, I know your, your pops, right? My dad, yeah. Big musician. Plays guitars, all that stuff. So. Um, um, shoot, man, you guys caught me off guard with that one. Um, <laughs> I, I read them down. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see, I, I YouTube a lot. Um, DJ Espinosa. Oh yeah, J Espinosa, mm-hmm. official DJ of the Raiders. Yes, <laughs> yes, man. Um, now you said your dad was a musician, right? Yes. Now, are you a musician also? Oh, that's a good question. I never asked that. Okay, um, something not too many people really know. I do know how to play the trumpet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn. Uh, my yeah. daughter plays the trumpet now, so she's playing my trumpet, and I know how to read music, so, yeah. Damn, that's cool. That's cool. See, and it's just like, you know, like, I've been asked, you know, it's like, how long have you been DJing for, you know? Oh, yeah, is that all you do? And it's just like, no, it's like, we actually have a musical background, you know, and, and it's just like, it just comes in all together. It's just like, like when we Full tell circle, people, yeah. yeah, when we tell people, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm a DJ. Oh, we have a podcast. I'm like, what? You know, it's just like, it just like, they all. Intertwine. Go, yeah, they inter- yeah, intertwine. Is that exactly? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was going to yeah. say entanglement, but <laughs> <laughs> that sounds kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> but that's dope, dude. And then I got to ask, how'd you get the name Dice? I don't even know how I got that name, to tell you the truth. Oh, wow. Um. I, I I got that name from friends. I guess back in elementary, I guess second grade more or less. Yeah, he was rolling dice in second grade. Right. Yeah, that's a it, 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 it just stuck. <laughs> What's the haps on the craps? <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, it just stuck. It was just like, I said, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna roll the dice with it." And then <laughs> when you brought that up, I was like, what, "What? What do you listen to that someone might not think you listen to?" Country music. Oh shit! See, well, I I got I kind of a little hit when he said the cowboy boots. So I was like, maybe he listens to country, now, or it's gonna be like the old country, uh, country new, rock, uh, newer style, I guess. Um, Billy Currington. Oh know, shit! Else, yeah. uh-huh. right. Nice, Kane Brown. Sometimes, <laughs> hey, you know, look, Brant. Sometimes he's got like one or two that like that's whatever, yeah, whatever yeah. pops up on YouTube music, I guess. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I like Michael Salgado's country, bro. Actually, oh no, that's another one. Never mind. Um, Bobby Kalu. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ano guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, actually, one of my buddies, he called me kind of drunk and asked me, "Hey, can you get a hold of Bobby Kalu for me?" I'm like, for what? I'm gonna throw my daughter a sweet sixteen and I want him to perform. Like, well, I can't promise you nothing, but let me see what I can do. Went on his website and left my number, and two days later, his manager's calling me. Wow. And, but the guy wanted 25000 for 90 minutes. Yeah. Nah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, man. It's just some, some, sometimes these these prices, man, they're up there. But, you know, that's your living. Well, that's when you should do the PPE loan. And <laughs> I'm, just <kidding. laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't get no ideas. Don't get no ideas. <laughs> yeah, man. But, um. But I know, I know your your time is short, man. But um, we want to thank you for coming on yeah, the no, show, no, bro. Thank you, yeah, thank yeah, you, bro. Man, you know, like said, whenever you want to come back, man, just you know, shoot the shit. You know, we're we're here. Drop yeah, your your yeah. socials, uh, uh, DJ, um, Instagram, or or whatever you want to throw out. Um, Snapchat DJ Dice ninety two five zero or Facebook um, under uh, Danny Casaneda. Yeah, find me on that. Cool, dope, man. dope. Yeah, man. So once again, man, thanks for coming to. To the last dope podcast. Thank you. And, um, yeah, man. Thanks, bro. Cool. We'll do this again real yeah, soon. Definitely. He's got to go, guys. Yes. All right. All right, man. Thank Peace. You.